Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Today we're gonna to talk about the latest campaign for Mr. Porter called Keeping Time. Mr. Porter is an online destination to discover and shop for high-end men's goods, and they carry a lot of watches as an authorized dealer. Keeping Time has a wonderful assortment of watches for all tastes at different price points. And let's talk about the sports watches included first. Mr. Porter did an interesting job of segmenting them into the various popular categories. There's a pilot watch, there's a diving watch, Watch, and there's sort of an everyday adventure watch. Let's start with the pilot watch first. It's from IWC. It's the IWC Big Pilots Watch 43. I'm wearing a 40 millimeter wide version of an IWC Pilots Watch. You get an idea of the size. The 43 millimeter Big Pilots Watch is actually the smallest one they make, and this specific model has a green dial. It's a metallic green dial. It's really a handsome watch. It's one of the most conservative everyday sports watches you can get. It also includes an in-house automatic movement from IWC. Very interesting with the green dial. I think a lot of people are going to like it. What I like about this watch is how versatile it is. The pilot's watch look has been attractive and handsome on men for generations, and that's not going to change. In this particular style, you have a great size, construction, movement, and dial color that I think fits for a lot of people. It's bold, eye-catching, but it's also conservative and not too showy. The next watch is a diver's watch from Italian Panerai, and it's the Panerai Submersible 44 Carbotech Blue Abisso. This is a version of the Carbotech watch with a lovely blue dial. This is the more modern version of the submersible. And over the years, Panerai has made little tweaks and adjustments. This has the more modern hands. It has a deep blue color matched to the Carbotech case, which is made out of a carbon composite material. It's very light. It's very hard. The watch has an in-house made movement and as a diving watch, it's very, very sporty, but it's also highly recognizable. There are a lot of diving watches on the market and Panerai ones really stick out. And the submersible collection is the most professional grade diving watch that Panerai makes and this particular version really combines the classic world of Panerai divers with some modern elements and materials in a way which I think is very interesting and hip for today. What I like about this particular version of the submersible, first is the 44 millimeter wide size. Panerai says in Italian, which is very charming, but it's 44 millimeters. The lightweight and the modern look of the hands means that for me, it's a sweet spot between a lot of the currently available submersible models. The final sports watch in this category is an interesting watch with a wonderful technical story. It's the Mont Blanc 1858 Gyrosphere Zero Oxygen Limited Edition. Now this has two elements. It has sort of a poetic story and a very serious technical story. The poetic story is that when you are climbing high in a mountain, there is much less oxygen and it's meant to sort of remind you of the fact of how dangerous it is to adventure at that type of altitude. But technically speaking, this watch is an interesting version of the Geosphere that has no oxygen inside of the case. When the watch is constructed, oxygen is pulled out, another gas is put in, and that's meant to enhance the lifespan of the watch. Oxygen actually can help corrosion, and without oxygen, the movement can last longer. There are some other specialized watches out there that don't have oxygen in the case, and it is very uncommon to see them. Definitely something I've never seen from Mont Blanc. As a limited edition watch, it has a lovely dial that has a pattern meant to look like glaciers. It's made from titanium, so it's very lightweight. And of course, it has that in-house made movement. One of the most interesting versions of the Geospheres is the Zero Oxygen, and I'm really happy that it's part of this campaign. So those are the three sport watches. Now let's talk about dress watches. There's a lot of them here, so we're gonna split them up in two categories, classic dress watches, but first modern dress watches. And the first one I wanna talk about is the Baume Mossier Riviera Baumatic. I really liked it when Baume Mossier came out with the Riviera collection again. I remember these watches from the 1990s with their geometric bezels and their great prices and their attractive looks. These were fantastic watches and they recently came out with them again. Some of those watches have the Baumatic movement and you can see the movement through the semi-transparent dial. So it's not quite skeletonized. It has a standard watch face, but it's sort of a smoked dial and you can see the movement a little bit. The Baumatic movement is fantastic. It has five days of power reserve. It's got a lot of resistance, like being entirely resistant to magnetism. It's a wonderful everyday automatic movement with all these wonderful properties in it. And in the Riviera, I think it's a wonderful combination. So this is a great watch. Let's talk about another modern dress watch, the Piaget Polo Date. 
The Piaget Polo is a name which has been part of Piaget for a long time, but they recently, over the last couple years, have brought back the Polo collection in a way which is really satisfying. It's thin, it has an interesting case shape, it has a beautifully made in-house movement that you can see through the back. The automatic rotor alone is probably worth a look. And it's also very, very classy. And of course, it does blend the worlds of historic design with modernity. But I think most people that wear it consider it more of a modern watch. This particular version with its black dial even comes on a rubber strap, but of course the Polo comes on a bracelet. It is a high-end watch in terms of the price point, and Piaget is a prestigious brand, but what we really like about the Polo date is it can be worn very casually or formally. Not a lot of watches can live in both of those worlds equally, so while we consider this a dress watch for sure, and it is modern, it does have sport elements, and it does have classic elements as well. Another watch which is very modern, but also has classic elements, is from Hermes and it's the Hermes Slim GMT Automatic. This is an interesting version of the Slim which has an automatic GMT. Right on the dial you have the main time, you have a second time zone in 12 hour format, you have the date, but then you also have something interesting. You have two AM PM indicators, one for the local time and one for the home time. And you have all the information laid out on a lovely dial. The case is 39 millimeters wide in platinum. So this is a very nice high-end watch with an exclusive in-house movement and a dress watch design which is certainly very modern but quite timeless in its peel overall. This is one of the best types of dress watch collections from Hermes. Now let's talk about some classic dress watches. And by classic, I'm talking about watches that are made today but have a design from the past. Some design which originated generations ago. Maybe it's been modified, but when people look at it, they're definitely seeing something which is a continuation of a design which has been around for many generations. And there's no better brand to start that with than Cartier. Cardi recently re-came out with the Pasha, as well as an interesting model that right now only comes in gold called the Pasha Grill. Now, what is the Pasha Grill? Well, it quite literally has a removable grill on the face, and it wasn't always removable. That's actually one of the things which is new about the modern version of the Pasha Grill. You can actually take off the grill part and have just a standard dial, or you can put the grill on. Now, what does the grill do? In the past, grills like that on watches were actually there to protect the crystal. Crystals weren't made out of sapphire, they were made out of much more fragile things like glass, and in a sports context or an activity or professional context, you'd want to protect that dial as much as possible. It's a vestigial element for sure, but it allows Cartier to do interesting things with the design. There's this crown cap that dangles, you have this interesting case design, but for the most part, this is a very classy dress watch. You have leaf style blued hands, an elegant dial, a single link design for the lugs that just sort of connects at one point there. These are all be considered very dressy elements today, but the heritage goes back to something sort of sporty and professional. And that's for me one of the most interesting things about the Pasha collection. The grill just sort of takes it to another level. The last classic dress watch is another one that has an origin in sports and professional use. It's the Gégère Lecoultre Reverso Tribute Duo Face Calendar. Now, the Reverso originated a long time ago as a watch meant for polo players who wanted to actually turn their watch over to have a protective side that was just metal and the other side was the watch dial. Now, nobody wears a Reverso for polo anymore or not very often. And what the brand has done in recent history is take both of those sides and give them each a face. This version of the Reverso is in steel, and when you reverse it, the first side of the dial is a calendar dial, and it's a nice symmetrical dial with a moon phase and a date and a month. And you also have another dial in blue, which has the time with an AM PM indicator. So it's an interesting diverse watch with a light dial for the day, and a dark dial for the night. You can wear it in a bunch of ways. It's an absolutely modern watch that certainly looks like something that Gégère Lecoultre made in the past. It has all the elements of a classic reverso, and that's why it's part of the tribute collection. Duo face just refers to the fact that there's two different faces to look at, and from a price perspective, I think they did a really good job of combining an in-house made movement, a classic design, and a lot of versatility with not only the different dials, but also the strap options that you could wear with this case. 
I mentioned that Mr. Porter's Keeping Time campaign had a few different categories, and for the last two watches, we're going to talk about tourbillons. And these are very high-end watches that always have a very special character to it. The first one is a limited edition watch from Roger Dubuis called the Gully Excalibur Limited Edition. Gully is a musical artist, and his name is on the dial in an interesting way. Not only did they incorporate the name into the skeletonized structure of the bridges and the movement, but they've actually also done it in rainbow colors. The case is 42 millimeters wide, part of the Excalibur collection with all those distinctive elements, and it's made from titanium. So it's very lightweight, has a very high-end, single tourbillon-based movement, these wonderful colors on the dial connected to this world of music. It's a very interesting limited edition from Roger Dubuis, and it very much typifies the types of things that the brand is doing today. Finally, we're going to talk about something a little bit more classic, and this is a version of the Vacheron Constantin Overseas, which is the Skeleton Tourbillon. This is a full gold watch with a gold case and a matching gold bracelet and an absolutely stunning skeletonized automatic tourbillon movement. It has sort of a secret automatic rotor which is difficult to see and that's done on purpose so as to minimize any obstruction with the movement. Looking at the dial you see nothing but the tourbillon and the hands and the beautiful open work of the movement which has not only been skeletonized but painstakingly decorated by hand. This is a very lavish watch but it also harkens back to everything that we appreciate about high horology when it comes to watchmaking, decoration, and performance. This watch from Vacheron Constantin really has it all, especially if you have the money to spend. So that's been the Blog to Watch take on 10 watches from Mr. Porter's Keeping Time campaign. I hope you enjoyed us discussing the watches and also going over what I thought were some of the key highlights of these wonderful timepieces. To learn more about them, look at the description below the video, and of course, you should go to the Mr. Porter website to see more of the Keeping Time campaign. Visit blogtowatch.com for watch news and reviews. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.